peace. Quick little think fast right quick. I just had a situation. This is almost just more of just sharing right quick. And two, I'm sharing right in the moment. All right, right now it's uh, what today is. You know, it's late in the morning. It's like 2 a.m. March, March 5th. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, so just in case, you know, I, I find out later on that, hey, on March 5th, some energy came through late, you know, uh, you know, early in the morning or whatever, whatever. But matter of fact, you know, I'm because that full moon just passed in Virgo, you know, it brought that nurturing energy of Virgo. But a full moon is a full moon nonetheless. And, you know, sometimes that that shadow self comes out to play. But you gotta, you know, uh, use it in a constructive manner, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm drinking this coffee and I'm walking and then all of a sudden, like, and I'm feeling my body and I smoked a little herb. And then I take a, like one of my yogic breaths, so you know that breathing in through the nose, out through the nose and bringing the air to, you know, to the diaphragm, like, you know, not breathing and poking the chest out, but you're bringing it down to the stomach. So, you know, you know, cause that's also the breath to raise the Kundalini, you know, and then the breath to, the, the breath to kind of just get rid of uh, negative energy or just kind of calm yourself is the in through the nose and then out through the mouth, you know. But when you go out through the mouth, <clears throat> That doesn't allow that uh, connection for the kundalini to go back down. Because also with the kashara mudra, you know, the kachara, I, I'm probably saying it wrong, but K-E-C-H-A-R-I, you know, and mudra, M-U-D-R-A. But it's basically having your tongue, right? Uh, the tip of your tongue touching the, like, the, the soft part. So, you know, at the top of your mouth, not the hard part, but the soft part. And so when you breathe in through your nose, you know, and also, uh, so pitch, all right, let me finish that thought. So, you know, so when you're breathing in, that's raising that Christ seed, you know, from the manger, you know what I'm saying? From where it's born in the root chakra around the, the manger, the animals, the, the doo-doo, the crap, the animalistic nature, the root chakra, you know. But it raises it up from the, the root chakra to the crown, but from the base of the spine. And then on the breath out, you know, the exhale through the nose. And so you're holding your tongue together, though, you know, it, the energy passing back in the front of you, you know, through the front part of you, back down the chakras to the root chakra. And uh, so when you open your mouth and do this, that doesn't allow for that connection, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 again, it doesn't allow for that kundalini con connection in essence. But... Uh, I was about to say something else too, but for sure, just in general though, uh, I took a, you know, that yogic breath, and then all of a sudden I just felt like the energy shooting up my legs, like, and I was just moving, and it was almost like a, you know, reminiscent of a DMT trip, you know, I'm like, damn, I'm all right, you know, and I'm like, all right, what is it, you know, what, it, it, either some energy surgeon right now, some energy surgeon in me, or, you know, like dealing with the mixture of coffee and herb at the right time, you know, I don't know, but I that's why I was like, I just gotta do this video, you know what I'm saying? And then I know earlier I was just speaking about though breathing techniques, it was something other than the Kachara Mudra that I was gonna speak on with, uh, with breathing, but, oh, cause also, you know, dealing with the nostrils, the nostrils deal with like a negative and positive flow or feminine and masculine flow. And uh, it's, it's uh, proven that at certain times, you know, that, that negative and uh, positive flow will switch up from different nostrils. Cause you also, which I'm not well versed in these exercises, but that's one thing since I'm bringing it up, I'm about to start getting back into, you know, uh, learning more breathing techniques. Like we're, you know, we're holding a certain nostril and, you know, inhaling and exhaling out of one, you know, and at certain intervals, you know, creates different types of energies. And even visualizations, again, don't forget about visualizations, like uh, picturing your chakra spinning the right way, you know what I'm saying? Like, so on the front part, you know, because your chakras got a vortex in front and the back of your in essence, so the front one 
Like if you was looking at yourself from outside of your body, you know, looking forward, you would see your chakra spinning in a clockwise, you know, motion. And then the, the ones coming out the back of you in a counterclockwise, you know, if looking from that perspective again. So like if I, just like how this camera looking at me, you know what I'm saying? So let's say for instance, you know, so they'll be moving in this motion. The ones in front of me. And then coming out of my back, you know, still looking from this angle, it would be like this. I hope I ain't confused, y'all. I'll be, I'll be having to catch myself. And that's the whole part of grounding, where you present information that might be a little, just for using like, lack of a better word, trippy or psychedelic or just a little out there, quote unquote. You know, you have to be grounded when delivering it because you could kind of just get caught up in just kind of delivering it any kind of way and, you know, and people won't even be able to grasp it. You might end up confusing people even more than helping, you know what I'm saying? So that's another reason why, you know, dealing with uh, pulling down that type of information, you know, you want to make sure you're grounded so you could articulate it so people could understand and understand and all the stands just stands. But that's basically it. I just wanted to share how, you know, that energy. And two, I also thought about, though, what else I felt. I felt the vibe of how it would have been a better connection if my shoes wouldn't have been on. Because, again, them rubber soles, that's on purpose to a certain extent. That don't, rubber kind of keeps that electrical surge from going, you know, out and into connecting them to earth better and kind of sends it back in you know what i'm saying and we get a, a lot of negative energy that comes out the bottom of our body you know so uh i did feel like when it went down and like it went back up kind of sort of too not saying that uh i felt some kind of negative energy you know or like like negative energy didn't get released but I put it like this, that energy surge did like kind of go down and I felt it in the heel of my foot too because just my heel, like my front of my feet curled up and just my heels was touching the ground. And I just felt electricity, you know, going up the sciatic nerve basically. You know, I don't know what that, what that was about, but I had to share and, you know, as always, drop some other little juice for... <laughs> But taking y'all time away from what y'all was doing just to share my little moment, I figure I'd talk about something else too, you know. <laughs> but uh, peace and blessings, y'all. Matter of fact, remember, again, right now is the perfect time to start, you know, making sure you're developing your your inner intelligence, you know. Uh. We've been taught so much and been programmed on so many, like to be dogmatic on so many levels that even when trying to get away from dogmatisms, we are dogmatic, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? That's how deep dogmatism is in what we do. So, you know, what we're trying to do right now, what's important and what I feel like a lot of downloads from a from you know myself and I see other people getting this like really breaking away that from that mode like just uh, you know from live and let live to you know uh, stop being so ritualistic not ritualistic but like uh, how I brought up the the if Earth uh, is a meat eater or not. Like, well, being a vegan or a meat eater, that's all still identities. And, you know, in, in essence, life is being taken. Regard, you know, like really having these esoteric overstandings. Now, of course, it's cool for us to be in the matrix and play the game. But again, you know, don't forget that, you know, and not necessarily play the game, but because, you know, this is like a learning process in essence, things of this nature. But remember that identifying yourself too much with things in this you know this matrix may you know lock you in it you know so you definitely want to uh, just just remember those things you know and get get more into that the esoteric overstanding 
and now to a certain extent because another thing too i'm gonna touch a little bit on this like where we're all moving to this times too where it's like uh almost like the the old times revisited like where say for instance like people like myself or other people who like like sharing knowledge and learning it and things of this nature like becoming like or like the shaman type of vibe like we're getting back into that mode of becoming the advisors for people you know and like well it's not meant for us as uh shamans and these type of people to make sense to humans in a moralistic way you know the day the, the shaman or uh, you know the, the person that's supposed to be in between realms and you know and supposed to have these concepts of light and dark you know overstood you know the day that person becomes like a normal human that's in dogmatic ways and views of things that have been programmed you know then things is you know in disarray so you know too for the people out there you know who feel like their views and things as nature is far out don't be scared that mean you meant to 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 come out with that knowledge you know or whatever it is, you know, take your chances with it. And now, now, now don't just come out with no craziness and be like, man, Universal Frequencies just told me to say <laughs> But like really though, if you get like downloads and they seem far out, but it makes sense, you know, in some type of way, or it just feels right to you, like express yourself on it or just write it in the journal for, you know, if you kind of, but still express it because new information is coming down through, a, you know, through the younger generation, you know what I'm saying? So as above, so below, it's like computers. And the older people, you know, the, the master teachers, they got the, the passed down knowledge, things of this nature, but passed down. They got a lot of new knowledge coming down as well. And sometimes an old computer that's, you know, holding on to a old information or, you know, how can I say, operating off an old operating system and holding on to old information doesn't have room for the new stuff that's coming down. So that's where the new computers come in, you know? The new hard drives, bringing in new downloads of information, you know? With new software, man. Like, look at the little, the little children that's being born these days, man. That's some new, that's some new computers, man. You know, that's, new, that's some new software, man. That ain't built like how you know, our grandmothers and grandfathers was built. And, and nothing to them neither, because they was built a whole different type of strong themselves, you know what I'm saying? I tell anybody, I'm like, people forget, being from the South, like, well, uh, you f we forget that, like, say, from the culture from the South, you know, being a melanated person in the South, you know, dealing with slavery and things of this nature, where most of our, our great grandparents, our grandparents, like, actually probably picked cotton and stuff, did all that shit. Had to eat pork butt and all that type of stuff all their life. Probably smoke tobacco and live to be like 90 and 100 years old. And it's like, damn, I'm like, you know, like, fuck. Uh. But, like, I, what's funny, I didn't peep that till later in life, but, you know, it's just two and showing you know, a different type of strong, you know. But, again, you know, it's new software, new computers coming down. But that's it. Just wanted to share that information with y'all, you know. New downloads coming through. Anything weird happening with your body, it may be, you know, some type of ascension symptoms. Excuse me, see. The side effects to to the coffee. It's kinda like, hey, coffee is good in moderation, coffee is good. But then acidity, this or that. Almost like one of them. <laughs> Which is not bad like uh, the prescription pills, because the prescription pills is like everything is bad about them. That's why they, they tell you so much of the shit that could go wrong about them. But that's a whole nother subject. But <laughs> peace. Happy now, of course. Now is the vibrate. We're not going too far in the future. We're not going too far in the past. Right now. Peace.